six years no interest and free shipping. The Black Friday Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. Good morning, so nice to see you. Are you smiling big this morning? We are one week away from the big day. I bet you've got some decorations going up around your house or at least getting them ready because there is no place like home for the holidays and no one knows that better than our first guest, Mark Height, who is here with Mark Height Homes, part of Real Estate Partners. Good to see you. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. So yesterday uh -huh. I had the fun to go down to Tiger Creek or the other day down the Tiger Creek Elementary School. Uh -huh. We're going to do a series of things between Chris, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas profiling uh -huh. elementary school students uh -huh. each week leading up to the big day. And I had asked them uh, something about Santa Claus and how they thought he got down the chimney. So I'll ask you as a realtor, how do you get through the holiday season? I bet everybody wants to know, can you even put up decorations at your own house? Are you busy? You know, um, the holidays, realtors work throughout the holidays. Um, and as it relates to decorations, it's totally okay. And actually your home would be too sterile if you didn't decorate if you had it for sale. <laughs> That's true. I mean, because home is where the heart is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if your home is on the market or you're thinking about selling, you've got a job relocation coming up, it's like, do we go ahead and put it on now or right. do we wait? Well, actually, um, decorating in the holidays are not a bad time to sell your home because guess what happened yesterday? What? Rates got down an FHA loan to 7%, Julie. Wow, that's very good. It really is. You know, rates got up over 8% that kind of caused the market to really pause for a moment, mm -hmm. um, but we've seen a significant decline. And so Christmas presents to some folks who may be thinking about moving right now, um, a low interest rate compared to where we've been. Okay, let's talk about that though for a minute, because if you are gonna put your house on the market this time of year, if you're thinking of that and mm -hmm. you're ready, you do have to be careful, don't you, when it comes to putting out presents and things like that? You want, um, well, first of all, you want the uh, perspective buyer to see your house, not your stuff. Yeah. And so um, you're going to have the normal protocols where we're not going to put expensive gifts and things out because, you know, they may have their children with them that may be tempting to check out the prizes. Yeah. Um, but do not be afraid if you're selling over the holidays to decorate your home and show your spirit and your own personal character. Right. You know, we um, we lived in Indiana when our first daughter was born mm -hmm. and we had to put our house on the market. I guess right around, it was, was winter, and I think mm -hmm. it was December, early mm -hmm. December. But I remember that we decided to have an open house. Mm -hmm. And so we had a fire in the fireplace, and mm -hmm. Emily was at like five months old. And we just stayed at home for the open house and kept mm -hmm. her in her swing mm -hmm. and had a really lovely candle in the kitchen, and we got six offers that one day. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was Emily. I that think just, it was Emily. Said, we can start well, a life like this. I think it's because it felt like home. Yeah. That, that's my point. I think mm -hmm. that I understand the need to be kind of objective mm -hmm. with the way you stage your house, but people want to kind of know who lives there, don't you think? Absolutely. And, um, and to see your kind of personal character. Yeah. So if your home, you know, if you need to sell right now, get it on the market before the holidays, you know, we'll help coach you a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be blown up with lights and so oh, they sure. don't see the home. They don't see the space, right? Um, but you also want it to feel like home. So uh, this seven percent—that's good news. You can't be a soothsayer, but do you think that it might stay this way for a little while? You know, um, it's all related to the bond market, frankly, and what returns look like. And so um, that has been correcting some, getting a little more normalcy. Um, and so, um, and traditionally, if you look at historically during presidential election years, yeah. um, interest rates tend to decline. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not going to see. We'll never see three percent again mm -hmm. um, that was artificially stimulated by the federal government but um, the big thing that I'm finding is I'm visiting with people and we do a lot of visiting over the holidays of people who are just thinking about selling right they're not necessarily putting their house on the market the day after Thanksgiving but they're like well what's my house really worth mm -hmm. if I were gonna sell my house what would I need to do to the house? Well, and let's talk about what your house is really worth because mm -hmm. you mentioned interest rates changing and the markets kind of what they can do in a presidential year. None of those things are guaranteed. Right. Nothing in life really is. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much, am I right in saying this, sort of tried and true that real estate tends to appreciate pretty regularly at about what, 4%? 
You're right on the number. We're looking at the median price, the average price this year have uh, appreciated between 4.1 and 4.5 percent. Um, that's better than inflation, you know, and that yeah. was one of the reasons that rates declined just a little bit uh, this week because the inflation numbers seem to be slowing 3.2 percent. Mm -hmm. So even if you're thinking about putting a roof on the house, you're thinking about upgrading your house, well, home appreciation is outpacing inflation. Well, and if you are deciding, do I buy or do I continue to rent? Mm -hmm. If you rent, your rent's gonna go up and you're gonna have nothing for it. 110%, yeah. That's, um, th this time of year, um, you know, it's kind of year end, we get New Year's resolutions, people start to unpack, you know, for Christmas and get decorated and it's like, we're not using this house, or more importantly, if they've had an mm -hmm. Emily or a second child, mm -hmm. it was like, how many more years can we stay in this house? Right. You know, this is the time to kind of reset and see what's my home worth? Right. What would my interest rate be? What would a payment be if I got a new $400,000 home? Right, and so you have pointed out the last time you were here, if you're a current homeowner and you're looking to sell, don't underestimate at all the equity that's in your house now. Yeah. Uh, and often people are selling and taking that cash to buy cash. I was in East Ridge, a young lady had bought her house in 2018, she's now found love and he also owns a home and they mm -hmm. were thinking it's like well do we merge do we keep one in rent so we sat down with each and looked at what they paid what they owed and Julie she had a hundred thousand dollars in equity in her house mm -hmm. and he was somewhere around ninety thousand dollars in equity in his house mm -hmm. so rather than trying to squeeze in blend a family into his house or her house right they're going to decide to go forward and get their home together. Right. And regardless of where interest rates are, they've got so much equity, right. it really helps them moderate that payment. Right, okay, so you're not gonna be like Santa Claus. Uh, and well, yeah, you are. You are gonna be like Santa Claus. This is your busy season. <laughs> Absolutely. So if people want to get in touch with you and say, could you just come talk to me about putting my house on the market later? You can Absolutely. do it. This is, we do a lot of consultations this time of year. Um, and those lead to conversations. So if you're thinking about, I need to downsize, I need to upsize, um, you know, we're working throughout the holidays. Give me a call. Uh, the number's coming up here on the screen and, and I'll come see you. And should I stress to people the fact that that number is a local one? <laughs> 100% <laughs> local mark here with a local folks working right here on the south side. It makes a big difference because that means he knows the market and when you talk to him about things, he'll know kind of what your lifestyle is like, whether he thinks the area you're looking at is good for you. Yeah. Uh, he'll just become your, your partner in the whole thing. Absolutely. Okay, here's his phone number. He wants me to show it to you. So 265-0088. You can also call 667-9385. Go online to markheighthomes.com and follow him on Facebook and social media. He's always putting stuff out there about what's coming down the pike. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Tell your mom, hey. I'll do it. This CHA Spotlight features the Houston Museum of Decorative Art. This museum is unique because it's just as much about the content of the museum as it is the person who it's named after. The museum first opened in 1961, and they've been in this building since 1966, right across from the Hunter Museum. This is the CHA Spotlight, only at visitchattanooga.com. My experience has been amazing. I've bought lots of jewelry off him, a lot of custom pieces, a lot of one-off, which is what I like. I prefer having the one-off pieces. If you want something that's unique, that's high quality at the right price, Samos Jewelers where you come to. I got hurt at work. My company said I didn't need a lawyer, so I filed a comp claim myself. I thought it was all taken care of, but now time is running out and I may not get paid. Be careful, the workers' comp system is full of traps and tricky deadlines. If you miss one, you might have killed your case. So call us right now. The insiders were on top of my workers' comp case. Everything was filed on time and they got me $140,000. I'm Brent. And I'm Jay. If you've been hurt on the job, call us. It's, it's just, just that easy. 265 11